Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, here with the first of two Atlas Earth videos that I do yearly to help out players with this game. Uh, it was originally one video, I am splitting it into two starting this year. The first one is just going to be a basic how-to video on how to play Atlas Earth, and this is going to be mostly for new players. Um, if you have never played it before, or you're interested in playing it, you want to see what it's all about. Uh, that's what this video is going to be about today. The second video, which I am also working on right now, is the Optimal Strategy Guide. And I have three different editions that I've already made. The first one has kind of gone by the wayside. But I do have links to the second and third editions in the description below. And I'm going to get that fourth edition set up as the next video. Um, you know... It's kind of interesting, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, like, why I do all these Atlas Earth videos, and honestly, it's not just because of the viewership or anything, but because the game, to me at least, is one of a kind. Um, you know, it's something that is kind of like a uh, rewards app within a game, in a way. You know, with the rewards app, you earn currency, which you use to buy parcels, and the parcels give you direct money, actual money that you can cash out in. So, yeah, I mean, that's great. And if you are a player who has played and doesn't know how to play, or if you are interested in learning how to play and you're not taken aback by the god-awful marketing campaign, this video is for you. Uh, not to be fair, actually, they have gotten a little better in the last several months, but let's move on. I'm already gone into tangent after tangent already. Anyway, if you're ready, welcome to the game. I'm here to be your guide to help you make the most out of Atlas Earth and make beer money equivalent to some top tier beer money apps. There will be two videos and this is the first of two, the basic how to guide. And on this video, I'm going to go over all the different things you can do with Atlas Earth as of August of 2024. Anything later than this, please refer to a guide or video that I will likely make on it following this one. I'm not going to link them all on here. For all we know, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff on like landmarks or, you know, other sort of mini games and all that other stuff. So, again, just follow the channel and I will have uh, information on some of those for sure. So, when you begin the game, the game itself gives you several instructions on getting you your first parcel for free. You will be provided with 100 Atlas Bucks to get that first parcel, followed by an additional 100 Atlas Bucks if you give out, I believe, give out your phone number and 50 Atlas Bucks for text messages. It's highly recommended you enable these to get the most out of your journey. Also, before you place any more Atlas Bucks, it's heavily recommended you use a referral code. It is a six-character alphanumeric code, I, well, technically it's just alpha code of A through Z, and I have several codes here that you can use for, uh, here's an example here, uh, these codes have 15 player limits though, so if these codes run out, try to find it from other places, by adding a referral you will be eligible to receive an additional 200 Atlas Bucks following buying your 10th parcel, which will allow you to get two more parcels. So the object of the game is to acquire as many Atlas Bucks as you can through several different ways. The most basic way you can do this is simply buy the parcels. So to do that, there's a couple ways that you can do that. You can go right over here. I'm going to go to shop. So go to the shop tab here. And down here is a list of Atlas Buck packs that you can buy. And you can just, you know, this way you can just go to the Google store buy your pack, and then you'll be awarded with that many Atlas Bucks, which then you can use to buy parcels. That is the first way. The second way is by logging into Atlas Earth's web browser, uh, web server, sort of. So it's a little app that they have on their browser where you can go in and you can kind of modify certain things. Uh, the one that we're looking for in this case, we're going to go up over here to buy bucks, and we're going to click on it. And here you will see all the different Atlas Buck packages that you can get. As you notice here, you get quite a bit more bang for your buck by buying them here versus getting them, if I can get this here, versus getting them via the um, mobile app. Uh, I believe part of this is because they don't have to pay the Google fee if you get them directly, so they want to pay that back to the players as well. You can get 
the 99.99 package here, for example, you can earn up to uh, an extra 150 Atlas bucks. So that is one way to obtain Atlas bucks. Actually, I went the wrong way here. Let me go back. Um, the second way is via uh, getting ads, basically. This is going to be the backbone for most free-to-play players, and that is getting this ad. And if you click on this ad, uh, every 20 minutes, a timer will go off where you can play another ad, and you can also get Atlas Bucks based off of that. You just watch the ad for 30 seconds, and then you'll be rewarded with two Atlas Bucks if you live in the United States, and one Atlas Buck for anyone else outside of the United States. And here I just played an ad, and I was rewarded two free Atlas Bucks. I click continue, and there we go. I just got two, my two Atlas Bucks. Um, now, there's other ways now since, you know, the law of the last year that you're able to get Atlas Bucks as well. There is this option here where you can be rewarded for cash back. The cash back rewards are pretty cool. So you click get bucks here at the very top. And you will see um, they do give you these online ones first. So these are the online providers that will offer you one Atlas Buck per dollar spent, depending on the country that you're in. There's also the nearby option where you can go to different um, stores and you're rewarded with additional Atlas Bucks per dollar that you spend there as long as you register a credit card in there. And to register a credit card, what you have to do is actually you have to go to the web app now and be able to input the credit card there. So going to the web app, let me actually go back to the web app here. So here in the web app, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to free bucks. Okay, so once you're here, you notice it's something very familiar to the uh, mobile app here. You're just going to click on here, the cards in the top right and you'll be able to input the your own credit card or debit card which then you can return in for dollars so right here you just click on connect a card and then you would go ahead and put your uh, information there um, it can be debit or credit and it doesn't matter if it's a visa or mastercard i think it's only going to be visa or mastercard i don't think they accept discover or american express just fair warning uh, there are other ways to earn Atlas Bucks too here in the shop. Uh, you see all the way down here at the very bottom, there are three new ways to earn Atlas Bucks. The first one is the Atlas Arcade. If you click on it, you can go to the Atlas Arcade and you can play uh, using either the Playtime system or if you have an iPhone, uh, you're using an achievement-based system instead. You'll get an amount of Atlas Bucks equal to either a task or your time that you play. Most of mine are basically per task, but there are some here that are also play by the minute as well. Again, use the playtime system, so that's how they follow the different... Um, most of these games will have the play one minute, play one minute, play two minutes, and so on. Um, I think it takes you about 20 hours, roughly, of game time to get the full 37 Atlas Bucks. If that seems a little bit too daunting, you can try some of the achievement games if you're on an Android. With iPhone, I don't think they have that option. You have to take the achievement games. The next one on this list here is Surveys for Bucks. You click on here, you take a survey. Um, you are taken to a browser for CPX research, and you can solve these for amount of Atlas Bucks, basically. But you have to be uh, screened beforehand, and if you make the cut, you're allowed to do the survey for that many Atlas Bucks. Um, CPX research isn't the worst of these survey farms, in my opinion. It's kind of in the middle of the pack. It's better than your Samplicious and your uh, Wan ads, but it's not as good as, like, BitLab's. Or uh, Tap Joy, Tap Research. I think those ones are honestly the best. So it's somewhere in the middle. They're all right. You might find, you know, some good with that. I mean, some of these Atlas books are kind of low. And also, uh, Atlas Reality has recently screened some of these ads to make sure that they provide for, uh, hot, uh, for, for the ability to uh, have a higher acceptance rate than normal. So that also helps a little bit as well. Finally, here in the bottom, we have Atlas Travel. That's right. Atlas has their own travel service. So I'm going to click book now. And what I can do is, if you've ever been to something like Expedia or Kayak or something like that, this is kind of like a uh, travel container service, sort of. It's one of those services that seek out multiple different uh, travel sites to find the lowest price for you. So if I want to go to a place, I'm going to take an example here. As a matter of fact, let's do this. 
Meridian, Idaho. This is, I think, what I use with the video. I'm going to check in, I don't know, sometime. Let's do a Labor Day weekend. So I'll do 31st to the 3rd. And then I'm going to click search. Give it a little bit of time to go through the queue. And here they will show you different hotels, how much they cost per night. I accidentally clicked on one of them. And they will show you just how many Atlas Bucks you will also be earning if you decide to take that. In this case, for a $692 three-night stay at the Grove Hotel, I can make 2,166 Atlas Bucks, which is bounced to about three and a half Atlas Bucks to a dollar, roughly. It gets up there with some of the uh, cashback options for restaurants, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for some kind of travel thing, and I've heard most people say that they are pretty reliable, so uh, keeping that in mind, they're pretty good options. But I will say that the Atlas Bucks that you earn can be inconsistent for some of these that don't seem like the best deal or seem like a little, it's a little bit expensive. They're going to give you lots of Atlas Bucks for some that might be a bigger value, not that it's a much, that much of a bigger value. Actually, it's actually a little bit more expensive here. They might offer significantly fewer Atlas Bucks. Like this one for a king size bed is only 224 Atlas Bucks for a reward, which is like a third of an Atlas Buck to a dollar. By the way, every once in a while, they'll do some kind of special event. Sometimes they'll have like a 50% or 100% bonus for the Atlas Arcade, or for surveys. This will happen every once in a while, and I think some, they've had a boost too for Atlas Travel as well. And they even had a triple uh, merchant program event as well for uh, some of the nearby restaurants. I actually managed to get uh, Annie Ann's is usually one of my favorites to get, which is three Atlas bucks to a dollar. Uh, during the triple event, we managed to go to Annie Ann's. Uh, it was nine Atlas bucks to a dollar, so for a $20 snack between the two of us. Well, it was actually pretty much like a meal. Um, I actually managed to make about 180 Atlas Bucks doing that. So yeah, you'll uh, take advantage of those events if you are really interested in trying some of those and trying to take advantage of some of those events. That's always nice as well. A few more ways to earn Atlas Bucks here. Um, there's also the daily login. So if you click on the daily login, uh, around midnight Eastern or actually midnight of your local time zone, uh, this clock will expire. And actually, it's pretty close for me to be midnight at the time of this recording, and you'll be able to click on uh, to collect your Atlas Buck for the day. Uh, you will receive typically one Atlas Buck if you do not have the Explorer Club. If you do, it is closer to 91. The Explorer Club costs $49.99 a month, and we'll talk about how to get there as well later in this video. Um, you will also get bonuses depending on the landmark day. On day seven, it is eight. If you are free, 188 with the Explorer Club. Day 14, which is 25 for free tier, 350 with Explorer Club. Uh, down here, day 30, it's 50 for the free tier, 550 for the Explorer Club. And on the way down here, day 60 is 80, seven, 80 and 730. And finally, day 90 is 200 and 1400. And then it will reset back to day one after you complete day 90 the very next day. All right, there are just three more ways I'm going to show you how to make Atlas Bucks as well, if those do not entice you. Um, the first one involves coming up here. You see the little dollar here that goes up. We'll talk about uh, buying a parcel that makes this number go up a little, little bit. But once you've hit more than $1, you can click this, well, tap it in your case, and then you can click on Atlas Bucks right here, transfer to Atlas Bucks, and you'll be able to convert $1 to that many Atlas Bucks. Typically, it is 25 Atlas Bucks to a dollar. Once a month, there will be an event that allow you to bump up to 33 Atlas Bucks to a dollar. Um, most people usually save their dollars for that event. Uh, some of them will even stack up for the once a year event of 40 Atlas Bucks to a dollar, usually around December. So yeah, it's usually a good chance to gather up more Atlas Bucks and in my opinion is a strong way for newbies to kind of get their way up to 150 parcels or whatever the maximum amount is depending on what country you're in. I believe it's like 100 for uh, non-US players, 85 for Mexico tier players, but we'll talk more about 
how you do that in the optimal strategy guide. Uh, I'll leave a link to the fourth edition uh, right here on the top right as a card. Then you have diamonds, and you can see one right here at the distance. Um, this one right here, uh, you can probably see it. Move it out here. Uh, yeah, so this diamond right here, um, if you get within the range, so you see out here, this range, if you see a diamond within this circle, uh, you can go ahead and tap on it, and you'll be able to get one diamond. Now, with this diamond, you can go to Hunt, so we're going to click on Hunt, and you can go to this diamond hunt, and you'll be able to spin to win Atlas Bucks. And I'm actually going to wait for this counter to go down so I can show you uh, the wheel and show you what the wheel looks like. So once it is midnight and the diamonds have been charged, we can go ahead and click on spin wheel, which we will. And you'll be able to spin up to five times a day. The first three are going to be for free, so I'm going to spin those three here. There's one. Uh, most of the time, you're going to get the odds table here, and the odds will tell you that most of the time, 50% of the time, you should be getting a one Atlas buck. Maybe 30% of the time is a two, and then they get uh, increasingly, well, decreasing odds, actually, going that way, like a one in eight chance of one diamond, a 4% chance of a six, a 2% chance of an eight, a 1% chance of a 15, and a half a percent chance of a 50. I'm going to do two more spins here. And you'll get the first three spins for free, which we're doing here. And then for the last two, you're going to have to watch an ad for those last two to get those remaining spins up to five. I would say on average, I make about uh, seven to nine Atlas Bucks a day doing this. Um, there is an expected value of around nine to ten, but it doesn't seem to always match the odds table doesn't seem to always match what we end up with on a daily basis. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Expect about seven to nine. There have been some cases where you get like four diamonds. So you get four of your diamonds back and you only get like one Atlas buck. That's probably been one of the worst days that we've seen. And then there's been some users that have gotten the 50 twice. The final way to earn Atlas bucks are mini games. Now, mini games at the time of this recording play out about three times a week. There are two two-hour events, usually around the 7 to 9 o'clock hour, Tuesday and Thursday. And then there is a three-hour event on Sunday, or usually around the 4 to 7 o'clock hour. Um, do check the Discord. There is an Atlas Earth Discord, which I will leave a link to the description below. That And under the announcements there, they will show you the announce, you know, when that minigame is going to happen depending on what country you are in. So the way that works is you play a particular game and you pay two Atlas Bucks. If you win, you get one win for your total. And if you lose, you will have to mulligan. And the mulligan will allow you to see an ad and you will receive an amount of Atlas Buck between one and three. So you can actually profit off of losses and a lot of people tend to do that. Now, uh, the awards are rewarded based off of top 500 for your country and top 25 for your state. Uh, you can't, most people do profit making it to the top 500. Some of them even go a little higher, do top 100. Top 25 is usually a really hot spot as well. But this is probably one of the best ways to make Atlas Bucks if you're very skilled in timing games. All right, now it's time to talk about how the parcels work. So to buy a parcel of land, you're going to find a good spot. So I'm going to find a spot here. This looks like a pretty good spot. And I'm going to click buy land. So I'm going to go to the buy land here and click buy land. So I'm going to go ahead and click this top square here. And then you're going to click buy land. And then you're going to click OK. And after you buy the land, you'll receive the rarity of the parcel. In this case, it is a common. Uh, you will receive common 50% of the time, a rare 30% of the time, epic 15% of the time, and a legendary 5% of the time. And your total will increase based according to that right up here. Now you'll probably notice that it is going much slower and is going to be texted with the color of green. So if you wonder how you can boost and get more of a boost, what you're going to do is going to click the boost here. 
And here you'll be able to watch an ad and get one hour of boost. You can do this up to six times to get six hours of boost. Um, it will say times 30 starting out. Mine's at times three because I'm at the tier right now that is times three. To find your boost outcome tiers, I will leave kind of a about 30 seconds or so, 10 seconds each of each tier right here. 10 seconds for the US tier, 10 seconds for the global tier, and 10 seconds for the Mexico global tier. I should also mention that during Super Rent Boost events, twice a month, you'll be able to get 50x regardless of what tier you are in. So that actually helps if you are in a lower tier like 4x or 3x or even 2x. It becomes a lot more valuable, basically, those Super Rent Boost events, because that's where most of the whales and most of the endgame players make their money. And finally, if you want to enhance said parcels, we're going to go right here to Shop, and you can get a Legendary Parcel Upgrade. Now, the Legendary Parcel Upgrade is depending on the time of the year that they show a particular one. Right now, the uh, theme is Campsite. So when you buy one of these for 2500 Atlas Buck, you can select a parcel afterwards. It will show up here in your inventory. And you'll be able to click the upgrade and you can choose one of these parcels to upgrade. Regardless of the parcel you choose, uh, that parcel will become a legendary and your earnings will go up accordingly because of that. Another way to enhance your earnings is with badges. So down here you're going to see a badge for the city that you're in, a badge for the state or province you're in, and a badge for the country you're in. Um, each of these badges will cost you 200 Atlas Bucks, and you will earn an additional multiplier of 5% for one badge, 10% for 11, 15% for 31, 20% for 61, and 25% for 101. So it is, it's heavily recommended to try to get at least one of these badges sometime around the beginning of the game. I will talk more about that in the Optimal Strategy Guide. And if you uh, click on one of these and you take that badge, then whoever is the mayor, basically the mayor, governor, or president, depending on where which badge you get, so in this case the Canapolis badge, I'm mayor, I would receive a 20 Atlas Buck bonus at the end of the day, that end of the day being midnight UTC. Um, if you choose the state badge, the governor would receive that 20 Atlas Bucks, and if it's the country, the president will. So it's a good way to also gain some Atlas Bucks there. Another way that I can also gain Atlas Bucks is through referrals, which again, on the code, for every uh, parcel that you buy, up to 10 parcels, I receive 10 Atlas Bucks for each parcel for 100 Atlas Bucks. So if you want to try to refer people yourself, you can also make up to 100 Atlas Bucks every time. So I guess that is another way that you can earn with Atlas Earth as well. And finally, we're going to talk about cashing out now. I think this is the last of it. So um, I know there's landmarks, but landmarks they have us coming soon. They're probably going to be coming soon, but it's not at the time of this recording. Um, and not much else in the inventory. So we'll take a look at redeeming your money. So once you've hit over $5, you can click this and then you can click redeem now. Now, I'm not over $5, but I do have a video where I have cashed out. And it will show you the options there. Right now, they only have cash, but maybe by the time uh, you have uh, watched this, they have stocks and crypto as an option as well. Um, you can only cash out in whole dollars. And it is recommended that you try to cash out with less than $11. Otherwise, they're going to put it under review, and it might take you a few days to get your money out. So uh, when you do, though, you'll be able to go and get it in a gift card, PayPal, or Venmo, depending on which way that you decide to take it. They take you to like the Tremendous screen, and a company called Tremendous takes care of the cash dispersion for you. I usually use PayPal for mine, and that's where I get most of mine at. Another thing that you can do as well is you can check out the badge income history. If you are mayor, governor, or president, you can click this. And you can see, I can show you all the different, uh, all the different uh, bonuses I've gotten being mayor, at least I believe as of the last six months or five months, I should say. Um, to become a mayor, governor, or president, you must get more parcels than your 
uh, than the person who is there. You must get more. You cannot tie. A tie it goes to the guy who is currently the mayor, governor, or president. To find out where you are, you can go here, and they will show you the president right here. This is uh, the U.S. wide right now. Uh, you can also go to the state here with this middle tab, and you can also go to the city, which will show you your city and how many parcels that you have in your city and how close others are to catching up to you. Uh, so you might want to, you know, this is a good way to get kind of a solid footing for you for the city. And I just remembered that I forgot in my original recording to talk about selling parcels. So I'm going to do that as well right now. So ironically enough, in order to do that, all you got to do is click buy land. Yeah, and then find one of the parcels that you currently own. I'm going to take this one. And you want to enter a sale price. Now, you cannot enter less than 150 Atlas bucks. And Atlas Earth takes a 20% fee to process the exchange. So you're guaranteed profit because you're minting for 100 Atlas bucks. So you're guaranteed at least 20 Atlas bucks profit if you sell. But the problem is that you have to sell it. And I've seen a few sales before, but I feel like this is one of those that would be a little bit more handy in the next phase of the game. Just a few more little tidbits here too that you might like for just like quality of life purposes. Um, you can click this button here to turn on or off the feed anytime that you like. You know, just something there. Uh, you can also go here and click the cog button here. Um, by the way, uh, just fair note here, don't worry about this current level. It means nothing right now. And one more thing for quality of life purposes. If you click your profile here and you click this cog button, you're going to be able to decide if you want your sound effects, music, and map labels turned on or off. It will also show you the phone number that is linked to your uh, account as well. As you can see, I got mine blacked out for obvious reasons. You can also contact help and support here if you have any problems. And you can also manage your connected cards here, though I prefer that you do it through the uh, browser because I've heard some people having problems doing it through the mobile. And then you can also get your uh, referral code right here. I would normally go down, but again, my phone number is here. And I do not want to give out personal information. Please do not give out your personal information if you are showing your screen to anyone. All right, so I think I have covered everything up to this point. If I have forgotten something, let me know in the comments section, and I'll try to add it on into a pinned post as well for any sort of advice. Um, this is just a basic guide. Uh, the next video, we're going to talk about the optimal strategy guide and what is the best way to earn money the fastest on Atlas Earth. So be sure to check that out. Please give this video a like. Comment what you think of this video or if I have missed out on any functions with this game. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I'm going to see you all in that next video. And I will also leave a link to that video here. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to check out other videos as well, uh, go ahead and take a look at the right. And there's another video there for you to take a look regarding this channel. I will see you all next time. Bye everyone, this is Feral Silver signing off.